myoglobinuria. Myoglobinuria is myoglobin in the urine, of course. And myoglobin, which I will abbreviate MB, is a protein that is found in muscle tissue. And this myoglobin acts as a reserve of oxygen. So how does this myoglobin get into the urine? Well, during states of muscle destruction, myoglobin can be released from the muscle and eventually be found in high quantities in the urine. Now, there is a medical term used to describe muscle breakdown, and that term is rhabdomyolysis. And when you have rhabdomyolysis, that leads to increased myoglobin in the urine. So now let's talk about etiology. Why does this happen in a patient? On clinical vignettes, uh, you will definitely be presented with a patient that has gone through some sort of strenuous activity. And they usually describe some sort of sport activity. It could be any sport, uh, soccer, or football. Anything essentially that can destroy or damage muscle tissue. And what this does is it causes the release of myoglobin into the circulation And thus, eventually, this myoglobin goes to the kidneys. And very high levels of myoglobin can lead to renal insufficiency. So that's sort of the flow of events in myoglobinuria. Symptoms. If somebody does have myoglobinuria and the preceding events, what type of presentation will the patient present with? He or she will have swollen and painful muscles. 
the patient will also have, in addition to myalgias, a very characteristic appearance of their urine. It'll be dark, often described as red to brown. And I'll show you a photo of it. Here's a photo of a patient's urine that was collected uh, by a Foley catheter into a bag. And as you can see, it's um, distinctly different than the color of regular urine. And that can be quite alarming to the patient. So let's say you have a patient that has the history of strenuous exercise and then the symptoms I just mentioned. How would you go about diagnosing this? Well, the first thing is you would do something known as a dipstick test. A dipstick urine test, also known as a urine strip test. And this test essentially shows either positive or negative for blood. And it's usually given as a number like plus. And it's usually given as a number like plus three or plus four. Now what's important to remember is that this is referring to either myoglobin or hemoglobin. This is not referring to red blood cells. Red blood cells is measured in another way. It's by actually looking under a microscope for red blood cells, and they often describe it as HPF, high-powered field. You have to actually look for the cells. If there are red blood cells in the urine, that's a completely different story. That's hematuria by definition. So this dipstick test or urine strip test is actually looking for myoglobin or hemoglobin. So let's say the dipstick is positive. Now you want to know whether this is a cause. Now you want to know if this is caused by increased myoglobin in the urine or hemoglobin. And how do you do that? Well, what you do is you centrifuge the urine. And if the urine had a lot of myoglobin, the urine will be clear after the centrifuge process is complete. In contrast, if the urine had a lot of hemoglobin, the urine will have a pink or red appearance. Now, interestingly, the centrifuge test really isn't done that often in these settings. You usually just go by the history, the symptoms, physical exam, and just the urine strip test just because it's so much cheaper. And then finally, treatment of myoglobinuria involves aggressive hydration with IV fluids. Oftentimes, normal saline is good enough. And the goal of this hydration is diuresis. You want to prevent the myoglobin from depositing in the kidney. Because if the myoglobin deposits in the kidney, and it, because if the myoglobin deposits in the kidney, it can cause kidney damage. So you want to flush the myoglobin out. And oftentimes, diuretics are used. Mannitol is used to assist diuresis in these cases. So now let's look at a few clinical vignettes. A previously healthy 13-year-old girl presents to the emergency department with an acute onset of red urine 
after she played soccer in the morning. Her physical exam is unremarkable. Urine analysis, so urine analysis shows a red color, pH of 6.2, specific gravity of 1.024, glucose is negative, blood is plus 4, protein is trace, nitrite negative, leukocyte esterase negative, white blood cell 0 per high power field, and red blood cell is only 1 per high power field. Which of the following is the most likely explanation of the red urine? Well, they did this test, which is, of course, the strip test. And this urine strip test, of course, indicates presence of myoglobin or hemoglobin, as previously, as previously described. Now, this test here, the red blood cell, that was a test to indicate hematuria. Now, one is not very impressive, so we don't have hematuria. Because hematuria, by definition, is red blood cells in the urine, and a lot of them. So we can eliminate choice B. Now we're left with these two. Is it myoglobin in the urine or hemoglobin? Interestingly, hemoglobinuria is not even one of the choices, but you can kind of go by the history. She played soccer, and that strenuous exercise most likely resulted in myoglobin in the urine. So that would be choice D. So that would be choice D. Next, a 36-year-old male presents with a complaint of passing darkish reddish Next, a 36-year-old male presents with a complaint of passing dark reddish urine. He states that yesterday he played racquetball for four hours, which was the first time he had exercised in four months. He awoke this morning with sore muscles and discolored urine. Physical exam is unremarkable. The urine is reddish brown in color. Dipstick test for blood is positive. pH is 5.1. Specific gravity is 1.03. Microscopic exam of the urine reveals no red blood cells. What is the most likely etiology for this presentation? Again, a very similar clinical vignette. The dipstick is positive, so that kind of gives you the answer that it's either myoglobin or hemoglobin. The fact that he played racquetball for four hours most likely is the reason for him having muscle breakdown, which causes myoglobin to go into the urine. And finally, a 21-year-old man enters the hospital complaining that he has been passing dark reddish urine. He has recently recovered from a football-related knee injury incurred three months before. And the day before entering the hospital, he engaged in vigorous physical activity for the first time since his knee injury. This morning, he awoke with sore. He has, recently he has recently recovered from a football-related knee injury incurred three months before, and the day before entering the hospital, he engaged in vigorous physical activity for the first time since his knee injury. This morning, he awoke with, this morning, he awoke with sore, painful muscles and the aforementioned change in the character of his urine. Physical exam is essentially normal except for the painful muscles. Findings on UA include red-brown color, pH of 5, specific gravity of 1.02, a plus 3 dipstick test for blood, and no evidence of ketones, glucose, or bilirubin. Microscopic exam of the urine reveals occasional amorphous debris and three or four granule casts, but no RBCs, which of the following conditions most likely accounts for the UA. Well, again, very similar. You have vigorous physical activity, the dipstick is positive, plus 3, and there's no red blood cells, so it's not hematuria. The most likely cause for this 
presentation is myoglobinuria.